Hi guys, um, welcome to another episode of Easy IVF. Today we'll be talking about how do you collect um, specimen, sperm specimen for IVF or semen analysis, things like um, IUI or even intracytoplasmic sperm injection, as we know, which is called ICSI. So it's all about masturbation today, guys. How do you masturbate for sperm collection? How do you masturbate to um, collect your sperm in the right way? Um, masturbation at home or you know the things you do at home is very different from masturbation when you go to a clinic to collect your sperm specimen. Um, masturbation is one of the easiest ways to collect specimen when you go into a lab or when you go into a hospital to get your sperm checked or for any um, procedure that you might want to do. Masturbation is normally preferred for people who actually have normal ejaculatory duct or people who can ejaculate without issues. When you have no sperm or when there is no sperm at all coming out from your ejaculate or when, there is, when you're not even able to ejaculate or when you've done vasectomy or something like that, then you wouldn't be a right candidate for masturbation. I'm going to do a video on how to collect sperm specimen for people that don't have sperm or for people who do not have ejaculate at all. The first thing you need to know about collecting your sperm specimen is you should abstain two to five days um, before you actually go into the clinic to give them your sperm um, sample. Now, if you abstain for less than two days, then the sperm that might that you might collect might be actually um, lower, the, the volume might be lower, the um, motility might be lower, and that would not actually give the scientists and the doctors a full picture of what's going on down there. And also, if you abstain for a large period of time, that might also decrease um, the, uh, the movement of the sperm, right? So that also would not give us a true picture of the quality of your sperm. Let's say you are going in for a sperm co collection for IUI or IVF or sperm sept um, or even just normal standard semen analysis. There are certain things you should try to pay attention to, things like, you know, taking care of your skin. Before you go into the hospital to donate your sperm, you should just take a shower, wash your groin, wash that area, just so that when you ejaculate, we don't actually get epithelial cells from you or um, penile area and dead tissues that might actually affect um, the quality of the results because you can just see a lot of debris um, in your sperm sample. When you get to the clinic or the hospital, they will check your name and they will cross match that with the record they have. They would give you a, um, a sterile container where the ejaculate would have to go into. Just make sure that your name matches what's on the um, sterile container and just you check because obviously there's so many um, sperm samples and sperm containers coming in and going out of the clinic. So just, you know, check and see that the, the, the container given to you actually has your name on it. Before you even go to the clinic, one thing you should do is to go prepared. So make sure you come prepared before you even go to the clinic. So you have to psychologically make up your mind that, you know, the process might take a longer time and, you know, ejaculating in the hospital is different from ejaculating in your home. The thoughts that people around, you know, around that area would know that there's someone using that room for this, um, for uh, masturbation might delay the time that it would take you to normally ejaculate. So just come prepared and, bring things that might make you um, ejaculate faster, come with your um, preferred pornography. Some sperm um, collection rooms do have um, a stash of pornography. You might want to come with something that gets you there quicker. Um, if you are into, I don't know, whatever you are into, just bring that, that would help you ejaculate on time. If you are religious and do not want to use pornography as stimulant, you are able to like come with your partner so that it can help you get there. If you do come with your partner, like one thing you should bear in mind that you shouldn't have coitus interruptus, like you shouldn't have sex and then withdraw and then, you know, obviously come into the cup um, because some of the sperm might be lost. So you might have to find other ways to improvise when you have your partner there to help you get to where you want to be. Things like even below jobs in the hospital with your partner might actually affect the quality of your sperm. The water kind of like slows or kills the sperm cells. So if you have, um, you know, if you do blow job and, you know, obviously ejaculate into the mouth of your partner and then that is packed into the cup, that would tremendously affect the 
outcome of your test results. So once you are now in the, in the hospital and now you get into that room, before you start, just make sure you shut the door and lock it just in case someone knocks and that was just obviously offset you or take you off the mood. Lock the door and so you don't get surprises from someone coming into the room thinking it's not being used. Before you start the whole thing, once you've locked the door, make sure you open up the sterile container. There has been report that, oh, obviously, like the, the container was closed and you know we couldn't get that container on time before we ejaculated and then you have to bend down on the floor or use your hands or use the chair and then start scooping that stuff off. Um, make sure you open up the container before you start ejaculating. Keep the container very, very close to you and make sure you ejaculate into the container. When you're masturbating, things you should not do includes one, do not use um, lubricant or saliva, like I said. Using lubricant or saliva can affect the quality of your, of your sperm in terms of movement and mortality. Water kills the sperm. So we might get the sperm cells quite all right, but they are all dead by the time they get to the lab. So if you need to use, a, um, a, if you want to use something to as a lubricant, just make sure you use things like um, mineral oil or just ask the hospital or the clinic to provide you some um, approved um, lubrication that you could use. You might be tempted to use a condom so that you might have um, a control as to where the ejaculate would go, but um, using a condom is actually not recommended. This is because condoms contain spermicides. So those spermicides kill the sperm, right? So it's, it's, it's a preventative measure to prevent pregnancy. So when you ejaculate into the condom, the condom contains spermicides that would kill the sperm. So that's why it also prevents pregnancy, right? So ejaculating into a condom that contains spermicides would obviously affect your test results. Some elastic condoms um, could be used, but however, you might have to like um, get the right um, condoms, just ask the clinic or the hospital for their recommendation. Once you're masturbating and you know you are close to getting there, try as much as possible not to miss the first part of your ejaculate. The first part of your ejaculate is rich in sperm and missing that would obviously affect the outcome of your result. Say for example, there have been, there have been cases where you know someone would miss the first ejaculate and the sperm specimen would look empty and you would say oh well this um, ejaculate is not even good enough for anything or to be used for an IUI on ICSI and they might have to call you back in to produce again and that might be a stressful experience. One of the things I would recommend is that if you're going in for an IVF or ICSI um, and you still have to produce a sperm you still have to produce sperm on the day of your ICSI try as much as possible to have a backup um, sperm so if you have a backup sperm and you and for some reason you're not able to ejaculate on the day of due to pressure then you know that you have something in the in the bank to use as a backup it would be a shame to have your spouse or your wife you know get all the eggs or to be ashamed to have all your eggs thawed and there would be no sperm to inject those eggs with or there will be no sperm to mix the eggs with so try as much as possible to have a backup sperm that would be used in the event you have issues with sperm collection if you have any question regarding this um you know regarding semen analysis feel free to leave me um, a comment below thank you so much for watching and cherish life